Hello, I'm Grégoire Gentil, and I'm the founder of Always Innovating. This is Marivy, who does our PR, and this is the Touchbook. At first glance, the Touchbook appears to be a particularly attractive netbook computer. Weighing in at just two pounds, it does everything you'd expect a netbook computer to do. Right, Grégoire? Yes, Marivy. You can create office document, you can browse the web, you can watch YouTube videos on this system like on any other netbook. So, what's new? Actually, the Touchbook is built on a different CPU. This is the world's first netbook that is powered by an ARM processor. An ARM processor, what does that mean? An ARM processor does not generate a lot of heat. So this is a fanless system. Ah, so I won't burn my lap when I'm working on a document. No, you won't. It's also a true instant-on system. It's like your cell phone. So I don't have to wait for it to boot up every time I use it like a computer. Exactly. And although we are running our own flavor of Linux, you can install any OS you want on this open system. Yeah, I've met a couple of people in this audience who want to install Android on theirs. And best of all, the battery. The battery on this system can last between 10 to 15 hours. That's three times longer than most of the netbook in the market today. That's great news about the battery life, Gregor. I know a lot of us have been longing for longer battery life. But you know, I know Chris Shipley, and she would not have invited us to present on the stage if all we had to talk about was a prettier netbook with a longer battery life. No, we're here today because the Touchbook is much more than just a netbook computer. I mean, can your laptop do this? The Touchbook is a, is a true tablet computer with a touchscreen interface that works no matter how you rotate the device. And at just one pound, it's a great alternative if you're looking for something smaller and lighter to stash in your purse or briefcase. There's so much you can do with your Touchbook. Hold it in your hand, sit back on the sofa, and watch a movie. Gregoire likes to show Wally on his. And here's a neat trick. If you're watching the movie with others, you can reverse the screen, reattach it, turn the whole thing upside down in an inverted V position. We like to think of it as downward dog yoga for netbooks, and prop it up on the table in front of you. The whole tablet is magnetic, so you can stick it up on the fridge. Think of it as a giant refrigerator magnet that you can use as a digital frame to display family photos. Better yet, use it to access the family calendar, browse the web, check email, look up recipes, etc. It's also a great 3D games device. Gregoire, why don't we show some 3D animation rendering so they can get a sense of what a game might look like on the screen. At launch, we hope to have a few iPhone games to take advantage of our built-in accelerometer for gameplay. And as you can imagine, because we have a larger screen, the graphics will be outstanding. Yes, you see that this is a very small device, but still quite powerful to render this 3D animation. So the whole touchscreen UI was designed to work no matter how fat your fingers might be. So yes, you can finally give your pinkies a rest. There is a touch menu, which is the touch screen equivalent of a start menu, and you just roll through the various applications until you find the one you want. Um, let's go to the web and see your um, Facebook profile, Gregoire. Yes, let me show you my uh, Facebook profile page. You'll notice we're using Mozilla's newest browser, codenamed Fennec. It's basically Firefox for mobile, and it's optimized for the touch screen. We've gone to great lengths to innovate here and make the device more user-friendly. We've even included internal USB connectors, so you no longer have to worry about having dongles dangling on the edge of your laptop and getting disconnected all the time. Yes, Marivy, let me show you the internal of uh, the system. So as you can see, you have the board there, and you have some internal USB. So it means that you can plug your USB dongle inside the device. You see that you have a Wi-Fi USB card, uh, which will come by default on the system, but I've also put a USB dongle storage. You could add GPS, you could add 3G or WiMAX uh, USB dongle inside the device for always on connectivity. So we've told you that the Touchbook is an open source netbook on steroids that it has three times the battery life of ordinary netbooks, and that when you remove the keyboard, the, the, the screen functions as a standalone tablet computer. 
We like to think of it as the perfect device for these tough economic times. Think of it as a netbook, ebook reader, kitchen computer, digital frame, game player, video player, all rolled up into one single device, selling for a price starting at $299. So these were just a few things we wanted to show you about the touchbook. We are located at uh, the station number seven in the pavilion, and we hope to see you there. Thank you. <laughs>